the thousands of creators that I've worked with, one of the biggest mistakes a lot of them make is not spending enough time really crafting a strong title to go with their videos. Many of us spend a lot of time working on our thumbnails, but we don't realize that a thumbnail is useless without a really strong title to go along with it. Learning how those two work together to really compel the viewer and win that click, that's everything. Let me show you what I mean. I think a lot of you know what a really great thumbnail looks like, at least in your head. Tell me what you think about this one. This is a video from a channel named Vsauce, and they put this out over a decade ago. But it's driven over 21 million views in that time. But if you look at the thumbnail, it's just a single blob of yellow color, nothing else. What really won the viewers over was the title. This is not yellow. Anyone reading that title and looking at that thumbnail would probably think, what do you mean this isn't yellow? I'm looking right at it. That's yellow. How can that not be yellow? The video is really about how things like televisions and computer monitors display yellow. It's actually a combination of red and green put together in a specific way that tricks our eye into thinking we're seeing yellow. But the curiosity or information gap that this title and thumbnail together create is what really makes this a winner. Let's talk about that for one second. A lot of creators think of YouTube as a search engine because it is the second largest search engine in the world owned by the largest search engine in the world. But the vast majority of views every single day on the platform don't come from search. As a matter of fact, over 70% of the views every day on YouTube come from recommendation. That means people clicking on videos that they weren't searching for. So when we're building that packaging and crafting the perfect title for a viewer who's going to see a video that they probably weren't searching for, it has to be something really special that's gonna grab them and pull them in. Leaving those information gaps can do a great job of forcing the viewer to have to click and watch the video to answer the questions that they might have been formulating in their head as they were reading that title. Another great example of this is some of the cooking channels we've been seeing really pop off lately. We're all probably used to seeing videos like this one here, the quick and easy garlic butter chicken breast recipe, delicious easy dinner. It's got a great image of the finished recipe in the thumbnail, but the title is pretty straightforward. It tells you what the recipe is, but they do add some compelling elements in there. Quick, easy, delicious. Things that might trigger that viewer into clicking. These words connected emotionally with the target audience to the tune of 2.3 million views. But there's another completely different approach that works really well. Check out this video. It's so delicious that I cook it almost every day. Incredible chicken and potato recipe. This thumbnail doesn't even show the finished recipe. It just shows the raw chicken cut up in an interesting way that might catch your eye. And then the title works with that image to make the viewer think, what's happening here? What exactly is this recipe? How are they cooking it? And why is it so much more delicious than the other chicken recipes they've made? They're leveraging a few factors here, not just the curiosity, which is really strong in this one, but gain. Gain is the element that's presented in that title that allows the viewer to think if they watch a video, they'll walk away with some bit of knowledge that they didn't have before they watched the video. So that combination of gain and curiosity work together in this compelling title to the tune of 27 million views. Now, another thing to think about when you're crafting a title is introducing the element of fear. Now, I don't mean fear as in scaring someone like on Halloween. I mean fear in the sense of triggering a viewer to make them think that they might be missing out on something or they might be doing something wrong. Five biggest mistakes all noobs make in Clash of Clans, 2.2 million views. You can see here that he's leveraging the idea of fear of making mistakes, five of them to be precise, but he doesn't tell you what those mistakes are. You have to click on the video to find that out. What are these mistakes? Am I making these mistakes? If I'm making these mistakes, is it making me look like a noob? These are all things that might run through the potential viewer's head as they're reading this title. This is a much better title than something that makes it harder for the viewer to get excited about. Here's an example. Quote, Electro Dragon, unquote, level six featuring, quote, Black Zero, unquote, quote, Town Hall 15 attacks, unquote, Linear Bar, Clash of Clans. This is an example of a title that looks like it was built entirely for search. Something that was trying to be built for the machine, not for the human. 
Now I'm not trying to insult this creator whatsoever. This might be a fantastic video, but the title itself looks like he put a lot of keywords in there, specifically thinking that it might show up in search. So he wanted to get them all in instead of thinking about the viewer who might find this video somewhere other than search, like in browse. It lacks that bit of compelling element that really triggers the viewer into action. Now, when it comes to keywords, I think they can be important. If you're making a video about the new iPhone, it's probably important for the viewer and YouTube if you put that word iPhone somewhere in the title. But when it comes to those types of videos, I see a lot of tech channels make this mistake. They'll make a video that's basically the new iPhone 14 unboxing and review. The problem is there's lots of really big tech channels with huge communities and audiences that are gonna make that exact same video. And those are the ones that YouTube is gonna surface more often. The Marquez Brownleys of the world, the official Apple YouTube channel. But when it comes to tech, even leveraging existing tech that's been around for a while in a new and unique way can be hugely impactful for your channel. Even if you're talking about something as simple as a USB flash drive, instead of just talking about that everyday piece of tech, trigger the viewer, leave information gaps and create some curiosity that might trigger them into thinking, what is it that it can do that I don't know about? There's actually a tool that can actually help you craft a more compelling title. Now, I'm not always a huge fan of tools, especially one that shows scores, because what happens is some creators get wrapped up in the high score game. Just remember with these tools, we're always trying to build for real humans who are gonna be reading these titles. Let me show you how this one works. Let's say I'm trying to craft a title for the video you're watching right now. Now I could go with something like how to make better YouTube video titles. That certainly would describe what we're doing here and what we're talking about, but that's a topic that's been covered by a lot of other creators in this space and they've done a really good job with it. Instead, I'll try thinking more like you, the viewer, who may have had some troubles trying to craft titles and I'll try to do this from a perspective of what you might be thinking. There are certainly a lot of great YouTube content creators out there who struggle every day trying to build the right title for their videos. I do it too. Knowing how many people wrestle with that, let's start there. Nine out of 10 YouTubers can't write great titles, but I wanna add a little more to that. I wanna pique the curiosity, engage the potential viewer. Are you one of them? So there's a little bit of negativity and fear at the beginning of it, but then we leverage that curiosity at the end. Am I one of those creators? I think my titles are okay. Am I doing something wrong? What's a great title? Am I one of those nine out of 10? Now I might change this title over time if I feel like this video isn't connecting in the way I want it to, but I think that's a much better start than how to write better YouTube titles. I'll put links to this tool that I'm using in the description below, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments section. This YouTube thing sure can be hard sometimes, but I think the video on screen might actually help make it a little easier. Take a peek if you have a little time. I'd appreciate it. Peace.